Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Today, I am, I'm saying today because I'm doing the intro, but I've been filming this video for like three weeks, y'all. And the goal was just to shop my stash and prevent myself from buying anything new from Lisa Eldridge. She came out probably a month now or so with the shade Bloom, which was a limited edition summer shade. And then she came out with some velveteen uh, liquid lipstick. So I was like, let me go back in my collection, try some of my favorite combos on and see, do I feel like I need to add these new products to my collection? So if you wanna see the 10 combinations from my Lisa Eldridge lipstick collection, keep watching this video, let me know what you think and if makeup is your therapy and your love if it makes you happy you want to shop your stash and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way definitely consider joining the community you know I'd love to have you back all right let's get started So let me know how you are doing in the chat. I am doing swell. I really am trying to shop my stash now. I have a lot of lip products and I have a lot of Lisa Eldridge lip products. She came out with Bloom. She came out with these uh, liquid lipsticks and I have been going through my stash to just see what do I have that's similar from her and other brands. So in this video, I am doing the 10 combinations to just get my little fix. And then as far as the velvet lipsticks that she came out with, I didn't do a video on it, but I went in my collection and have really been playing with the Kaleidos lip clays. And I have a lot of nude shades. I was looking at the Velvet Affair liquid lipstick and I have that in my Kaleidos uh, lip clay stash and then some. So I know I do not need to make any purchases from my girl Lisa, although she is my girl and I do love her products. So I'm gonna take a little trip with me over the last few weeks to try on these lip combinations. Let me know which ones you like. Let me know which shades you have and I will be back at the end of the video to wrap it up. So here we go. So I wanted to start this video with one of my favorite Lisa Eldridge shades, which is Velvet Cinnabar. And funny story, well, not really funny, but the way I got this one was that I was just stalking that shade because I had just gotten into Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and Cinnabar was sold out and it was sold out for a while. And my friend Kelly at Keep Beauty Real had it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just love this. This is so beautiful. It's red, but it's not too red. So I was just stalking it every day. And one day it just popped up like on the site, the Cinnabar and the pencil, the liner. And so I had texted my friend Yadi like, oh my gosh, they have Cinnabar, they have it. And she's like, what? So we both bought it. And then we got emails saying that it was a mistake that the Cinnabar was in stock, but it was put on the wrong site. It was, uh, it was supposed to be on the European site. And they were like, so they were going to ship it over uh, from overseas for free. So I was so happy when I got Cinnabar. So I wanted to start this video off with that shade. And I also eventually got the Cinnabar lip gloss. So I like to wear red lips when I'm not really doing a whole bunch with the eyes. And as you can see, my eyes are very simple. I have on the Bordeaux liner from Victoria Beckham Beauty and some mascara, my What's Up Beauty mascara. On my face, I am wearing my Dior concealer. I have on the Say uh, Quartz Glow and a little bit of At Night Blush from Hourglass just to give me a little flush look. And I'm wearing my new pink under eye powder from Ben Nye. And I have a little bit of sandy cheeks from Melt under my eyes. So I thought this would be the perfect uh, situation to wear Cinnabar. And I'm wearing this um, plaid shirt here is one of my favorite shirts <laughs> and so I just thought it would pick up nicely so yeah Cinnabar is just it's such a beautiful beautiful shade so wanted to kick off the video with that now I know she talks about putting the pencil on last but I am going to put my uh, pencil on first just because I just want to have that line that sharp line so let's do it
Mm, mm, mm. Yes. So there's a cinnabar, y'all. One of, I think, I don't know, her best shades. It's just so, it's just so unique to me. And I feel like it's my perfect red. So yeah, I wanted to kick the video off with that. And then the gloss, I think, you know, as the lipstick wears off, I mean, I'll have it to touch up, but um, I don't know if I feel for some reason my lips feel dry or something like that. Maybe I'll put a little dab of the gloss on top, but you know, Lisa Eldridge, uh, mattes are they're just really comfortable they feel really good and they're not drying at all so that's cinnabar y'all let me know if you have it and how you like it and we'll get into another favorite all right y'all i'm in the midst of uh, filming five looks with trio chrome but i wanted to use another lip combo from lisa that i love so much so today i'm going to be using velvet blush and potentially blush lightly so there's the pencil and then I'll show you the differences between the two shades. So there's blush, and then later she came out with blush lightly. So yeah, I think I wanna do like blush and then blush lightly on the inner part of the lip. So let's do that. All right, so taking blush, And then I'm going to take blush lightly. I'm trying to get that ombre effect. I was watching uh, Laura Oriano from Melt Cosmetics do that with uh, two lip colors from Melt. And I loved it. So I'm trying to emulate that. It's not going to be as dramatic as hers. And I love that because see, because blush lightly is a little lighter, I feel like it blends in really well with my natural lip pigment so yes that's another one that i love well both of them mm. well, let me know what you think about this little combo and we'll get into the next one all right my next lisa eldridge fave has to be velvet affair that actually ooh, might be number one i might have said cinnabar was number one cinnabar would be my number one like red lipstick but velvet affair is like one of my favorite lipsticks ever so i have the liner and the lipstick it's just like you don't have to think about what you're gonna wear with this. To me, it goes with everything. Oh, I forgot my affair broke and y'all did tell me use a lip brush, but hold on. It's like stuck up in the, oh my gosh, it's stuck. I'm gonna get a lip brush, but not right now. And there's Velvet Affair. If somebody were to ask me what shade to start off with, with Lisa Eldridge, I would definitely have to say Velvet Affair. I just think it is the perfect shade for everything and for so many different skin tones. So yeah, that's Velvet Affair. All right, let's get into another one. Okay, back for another Lisa Eldridge lipstick favorite. Um, you can probably hear all this game in the background. Anyway, I am gonna be using Velvet Decade and Velvet Decade, surprisingly was my first Lisa Eldridge lipstick and it was given to me by my friend Al Feisty who's here on YouTube and she was like did you order any of the new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and I was like I know I don't know what that is she's like well I have an extra velvet decade do you want it I was like sure so we're gonna do velvet decade eventually I got the pencil and then I want to also use a velvet muse we'll see how that looks we'll just try it out I, I can't use all my lisa eldridge lipsticks because i realize i have like a lot like 19 or 20 of them she just released and i'll be talking about it the velveteen oh, lipsticks and i'm, I'm gonna let y'all know right now i'm getting a fair a fair is all me but i'm so tempted to get rain velvet rain or the rain one i don't have rain so I wanted to get Affair because that's like my favorite. I think Affair has to be my favorite. I, I might have said in the beginning it was Cinnabar, but Cinnabar is not. Affair is my favorite. A decade's a bit deep, but it is very, very beautiful. And I think if I put Muse in the inner part of my uh, lip, it will mix more with my pigment since this is a lot 
at times. It's not a lot. It's just enough. But yeah, Velvet Affair. And my Velvet Affair, as you saw, is, is almost done. So that's decade. But see, see that? I can't do that. It's too much. I love Muse. It is beautiful. I was thinking about this in the Velveteen. But I don't know, y'all. I don't know. See, so me doing something like this. Can y'all see the difference? Because it's like a segue. And I feel like I need a segue. Yeah, okay, segue. I'm here for this. Yes. So we've got Decade and Muse. I love, you know what? I, I love my Lisa Eldridge uh, lipsticks. I don't know who got me into this, but it, it was. It was Jen from Alfeisty and my friend Yachty. And I was like, Who's Lisa Aldridge? Now I know, and now I can't go back. All right, y'all, let me know what you think about this little combo. I really like it. I really like it. Like, this will allow me to do the deeper lips, but give me, like, okay, and it won't give me too much, like, pink in the inside because I have the Muse in there. I love Muse. Muse is, Muse is really good. Muse might be my number two, but Affair, I have an affair with it, but... I love this. All right, let's do, I don't know how many I've done. I think this is the fourth one. Maybe one more, let me know. All right, hi again. Okay, this color right here, this is a luxuriously lucent lipstick. This is Meet Me in Berlin, y'all. Now you do have to reapply these, you know, a little more often than the matte lips, but they are so nice. And today I'm gonna pair it up with Velvet Decade, which I know I wore in another look, but we're just gonna get into it because I love Meet Me in Berlin. It is so nice. I think Meet Me in Berlin is such a great everyday shade. And if you don't like to wear matte lipsticks, I just think this is such a comfortable lipstick. You know, it's, it's one you're gonna have to bring with you, but I bring my mattes with me too. Um, you are gonna have to reapply it. So that's just what it is with these. I would say that, you know, if you are gonna get something from Lisa Eldridge, I would definitely go with the Velvets or like the Insanely Saturated because you can probably get something similar to this from another brand. However, I still really like these a lot and um, I, this is a shade that I wear pretty often. So that's Meet Me in Berlin, paired with Velvet Decade. Let me know what you think about this combo and let's, let's do some more. All right, y'all back with another Lisa Eldridge lip combo favorite. I'm gonna be combining Velvet Blush or Blush, the lip pencil with Sunday Matinee. So blush, I think I wore in another look in this video. And then the Sunday Matinee is one of the insanely saturated colors. Cause I know she doesn't make a pencil for every single color. So I think these two are gonna look really nice together. So that's the combo. Let me know what you think about it. I remember her saying in her video, it's just an easy going shade. That is the Sunday matinee shade. It's just a really easy going shade. And I totally agree. I, I really like this shade a lot. So let me know what you think about this combo. And we're going to do a couple more. All right, you guys, we are going to get into another Lisa combo. And today, I, this is not what I wanted. But you know what? We're going to use it. I was going to use Night Thoughts, but I changed my mind just because I don't feel like getting up. I'm going to take Velvet Decade, the liner, and pair it with Velvet Myth. Now, I haven't done this one before, so let's just see if we think it's going to look nice. I'm not exactly certain, but we're going to find out, y'all. I don't wear Velvet Myth a whole lot, but it's a very beautiful, beautiful shade and I don't know my eyes are I wouldn't say like bold but mm, oh my god my pencil just broke we'll see we'll see I feel like this decade liner okay I don't like how my lip looks so just hold on oh 
Oh my God. Wait, that reminds me of something. Let me just do one thing at a time. I was gonna say, I feel like this decade liner is really coming in handy. For a while I had stopped wearing liner. And then I was gonna ask y'all, did y'all see how Aunt Jackie uh, read this lady on Instagram? I'm gonna see if I can find that real. I'm gonna have to save it or something because she sure did. The uh, woman was talking about, I don't know, like how to be elegant or something crazy. But she was talking about people who use brown liner and Jackie, let her know. She let her know. Makeup mistakes elegant ladies never make. Wear brown lipstick with gloss on top of it or lining your lips in the dark lip liner. I saw ladies using contouring to contour their lips, hoping to achieve an effect of larger lips. It looks ridiculous. Say what you really want to say. Just spit it out and say it. I don't have a problem with femininity or elegance content, but as a non-dark skin person, you are the wrong person for this particular tip. And I've been doing makeup for a very long time. So while you may be the expert at that one thing, unfortunately, you're going to have to learn from me on this one. And perhaps you can use some of this advice to tweak your future curriculum. And I do see that you follow me. So I'm going to explain to you why that particular tip was not received well by people who look like me in your comment section on that video. For dark skinned people, wearing a dark brown lip pencil is literally the only way to get most lip colors to be flattering on our complexion. Like there's just no way around it. Now there's also levels to it. Obviously the look can go from more extreme to more subtle, but either way, it is a thing. Most of us are just not all one skin color, especially on our face. For example, I have pigmented lips. It's just normal. Have have you ever seen someone with dark skin trying to wear like a nude or like a peachy or like a pale pink lip color, but around the perimeter, it looks ashy? That's what happens when you don't know how to do a trend to suit your complexion. Now, I quite literally, literally made a career out of doing that. Showing brown girls how to do that, but for us. I'm not an elegance expert, but I do know a thing or two about being in an industry that was always quicker to say, that don't work on your complexion, this looks tacky on you, this looks ridiculous, versus what they should have been doing is saying, here's a brush, I'm gonna show you how to do this on your skin tone. You need to be super careful in the future about using blanket statements, like not elegant, ridiculous, when talking about beauty rituals that are specific to a particular culture. And for whatever reason, if you just did not know that the brown lip liner thing was connected to most brown girls' beauty routines, then it sounds like you have some rewriting to do. Thank you and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's see. I didn't do a great job lining, but I think this is workable. So let's let's try to fix it up a taste. I don't think that looks bad. I just, it's a little uh, sloppy right here. I'm not cleaning it up the best way either. Oh yeah, Carrie, yeah, yeah. This is laziness at its finest. But myth gets into the color territory that I'm not as comfortable wearing. So I don't know y'all. I kind of think I should have went with night thoughts. Cause mm, I, think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do night thoughts. Well, this is like a two for one. I don't think this is bad at all. Like I think this actually looks kind of good. However, I think I want night thoughts. So I'll be right back. Well, this is a two for one, y'all. This is Velvet Myth. I mean, it's a really beautiful shade. Like I said, we're just getting into like my shades where I'm less experienced with, but I think it looks really nice, kind of vampy. You know, this is like a nice uh, going out shade. Uh, this pencil, I don't know. It might be a little brown for the look but uh, I'll be right back with night. Okay, I am back. Now to save time, I line my lips with Decade again, and now I'm gonna take Night Thoughts. Let me show you that. So Night Thoughts is the uh, luxuriously lucent uh, formula. So that's more up my alley. Yes, okay. And I'm always here for liner tips, y'all, because Told y'all I just started wearing liner again. But I have a lot of colors, so. So I would like just probably clean this up with a little bit of concealer, you know? But that's the look. I like this better. Now the luxuriously lucent, again, you're gonna have to reapply, you know, but I like this. Okay, y'all. All right, let me know what you think about this. I can't remember how many combinations I said I was doing. I think it was 10. So I don't even know what number this is, but I know I, I do have at least one more to do. So let's, let's go. Down. All right, back with 
Another combination, I'm not sure if we're on seven or eight, but I'm going up to 10. So if you're still with me, hopefully this video isn't too long. Today, I am going to be combining the lip pencil in Dragon with Je ne sais quoi. I have never tried this combo actually, but Velvet Dragon is one of her lipsticks and it's this corally red color. And then Je ne sais quoi is a luxuriously lucent and it kind of has a coral tone. So I'm thinking these will look nice together. Let's try it out. So Dragon is a little orangey for this, but I think it works. I didn't have another uh, pencil that I thought would go. Mm, that is very pretty. Yes. Well, let me know what you think about this one. And we're almost done. I'm so mad because I want to find my velvet sorcery. I cannot find it. And I definitely wanted to include that in this video, but I, uh, I don't think I'll be able to. So there's that. All right, y'all, let's get to the next one. All right, we're on number nine for lip combinations. I feel like this is the longest video. Well, it's not long, but it's taken me the longest time to film since I'm doing 10. But today I'm gonna go with Velvet Enchantment. I have the pencil. I think I used this pencil in some other looks, but I know I didn't use the lipstick. Oh, this is so pretty. I was thinking this was close to that bloom shade, but it's a little bit different. But you know, some of the shades are kind of subtle as far as differences so yeah, I'm, I'm really glad i'm doing this video so let's let's get it going all right there's velvet enchantment let me know what you think about that I think it's gonna look I think it looks really nice with this look I'm wearing the melt Gemini 2 palette wanted to bring that back out you'll see I have a chatty get ready with me video where I use that palette because I'm shopping my stash y'all let me know what you think about enchantment enchantment is a really nice shade well, sometimes you know you get things and just forget that you have them but mm. This might be a new fave, y'all. Let me know what you think about enchantments and we are gonna get into the 10th and final look right now. All right, y'all, we are at the final Lisa Eldridge lipstick look and I still have not found Velvet Sorcery so I had to pick something else and I could end this video with no other color than Strawberry Shock. I know I have about nine more Lisa Eldridge lipsticks but we're gonna go ahead with Strawberry Shock. Look, y'all, so beautiful. I don't have a liner for this, so we just gonna get it going. We just want no liner today. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. There's Strawberry Shock, y'all. Yes. Does she have a liner for this one? I feel like she does. Let me know what you think about Strawberry Shock. I love this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. Let me know which uh, combos that you liked. Again, there's so many more I could do, but I just wanted to do a little overview. And you know what? It's taken me about three weeks to do this video. And I can say that I did not order Bloom and I did not order any of the Velveteen lipsticks. So shopping my stash definitely helped. And it did make me appreciate the lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge that I do own and I have just been wearing them like crazy so let me know your favorite shades from her line and favorite products and that's gonna be it thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today I hope this was therapy for you it always is for me and until I see you again make sure you're being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and I will see y'all in the next one bye oh,